Hey guys, my name is Brandon McDonough. I'm going to talk about Roger Federer today. Even if you've never watched or played tennis, there's a good chance that you've heard of at least one tennis player. Most likely, that would be Roger Federer. Not only has Roger been at the top of the game for 10 years now, he's also played a big part in helping underprivileged kids in this community. According to many sports analysts, such as John McEnroe, Federer is the greatest uh, player of all time. So all of his accomplishments would suggest he's the best to ever pick up a racket. Some are still not convinced. I'm going to put all those batters in their place. I've been playing tennis since I was a freshman in high school, and before that I played table tennis. So for six years, I've pretty much been the king of racket sports and sports that no one cares about. <laughs> I know a lot about tennis, though. Today I'm going to talk about Roger's accomplishments as well as his rivalry uh, Rafa and his all and his off court accomplishments, which are especially as well. Roger is not only a tennis legend, but an icon around the world. He has 17 grand slams and has been ranked as, uh, number one for Grand and two week, 237 in his first seven years. I've written some of Federer's greatest accomplishments right here. He has 17 grand slams, which they're only four years, so that's over four years of this complete dominance. He has 23 straight uh, semi-final or grand slam, which is like in basketball, like reaching the final four, like every every year. He has seven Wimbledon, which uh, is a grass court play in uh, Wimbledon, England. And he has a golden slam, which means he's won all four and has won an Olympic gold medal. Uh, his, one of the uh, most impressive records that goes goes without saying is our 76 titles which he is now third on the list behind John McEnroe and Yvonne Wendell. Unfortunately, in his career, there has been one man who has stopped him from winning as much as he possibly could. That would be Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal has 11 Grand Slam titles and is undoubtedly the king of clay. He's won the French Open four times, which is a tournament in France that's played on uh, clay and Roland Garros. People, uh, Rafael Nadal has defeated Roger Federer four times in the finals of the French Open, but Roger has beaten him twice at the finals of the league. Every legend has that one player who has his number, and that seems to be Nadal Federer. Though many look at the 18-10 record that Nadal holds over Federer, these numbers can be deceiving. 14 out of 28 matches were played on clay, giving Nadal a clear advantage to use the best play quarter ever lived. Of the 28 matches, Federer won 10 on 10 on grass slash hard court, and only and lost every single time on clay. <laughs> Federer held an eight of six on other surfaces though. Uh, 19 out of their 28 matches were played in the finals, since they have been ranked in the top three for eight consecutive years. If if Rafael Nadal would have done better on hard court. There's a good chance that he would have been he would have been in the finals and played better more on hard court, uh, evening their making their head to head record more even. I'm a huge better fan, obviously, but I even recognize that Nadal's greatness on clay is unmatched. Better has done so much for tennis as well as give back give back to those who are less fortunate. The Blues Maestro has South African roots and visits several times a year to have a kids' day when he plays soccer and tennis with children of all ages. In 2001, the Roger Federer Foundation was founded, and, and according to RogerFedererFoundation.com, they have donated at least 20 million U.S. dollars, and Roger's net worth is nearly 283 million, 77 million of which he has won through uh, tournaments and prize money. Even though he's won 77 million dollars, he's donated over half of this, being 40 million dollars to charity, besides his own. In conclusion, it is clear that Roger is not only the greatest tennis player of all time, but a tennis icon. In sports that have given him so much, he somehow has managed to get back more. Thanks. That's such a fail.